Hey folks, we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Radfort in the Tortoise. This is the Tier 9 British Tank Destroyer. And uh, this is a Tier 9 game on Lakeville. Now he's wandering over in this direction, um, but he could just as easily go sit right up there and be absolutely indestructible. And uh, this thing fire... Actually, I don't know if it's still the fastest firing... Uh, gun in the game, but it used to be one of the, the fastest firing gun, the fastest firing gun in the game, uh, as far as like tier nine and ten went. Uh, this thing is still one of the best as far as just pure DPM and um, ability to absolutely destroy medium tanks that think they're safe, because uh, this thing can spin quite quite fast, traverse quite quickly. As well as it can, um, of course, if you're not shooting it directly in the front, you're unlikely to go through. And the gun reloads fast enough that uh, you're going to have a problem if you're trying to kill this thing. Now, let's look at the problems the enemy team is going to have as they try and kill this thing. As I just calmly flip over to... Ha ha, this is what this thing looks like. So, for the most part, if you're trying to kill this thing, you're going to have problems. Uh, your best bet is obviously loading some gold, but I, I saw 500 there for a second. So, uh, depending on where you shoot this thing, it's going to be an issue. Your only surefire way of going through is, I guess you could shoot there with some gold. That, that would probably go through again, maybe. Um, but this Kapoa is easier... Uh, one of the easiest spots to pen. As long as you hit it flat on, you should be okay. And the rounded issue, the rounded spots go up to like 300, but I mean, this is your your best shot at going through this thing. If you're looking at straight on from the front, then it's a lot easier, again, because you're shooting at a flat surface, right? Um, but then you have other parts that are, yeah, still not. <laughs> uh, the the, the great thing about this thing is if you get around the side and the back, you pump a few shots into here and you will set it on fire. Um, not 100% guaranteed, but the odds are pretty well in your favor. As that is its engine and its fuel tank and everything else in there. And so, yeah. Interesting. I didn't realize if you get a shot behind the gun, you might feel a pen. So I guess you could just launch HE into the, this breach here. Um, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd just pop shots into the, the cupola until you, you kill the thing. Um, and if you're a little bit above it, then that just helps everything, makes everything easy and better. So yeah, that is the tortoise. And let's flip back over to the game. And um, let's bring you guys back in. And yes, I made that look smooth and professional, right? And then I did that. I... You learn something new every day. So I was trying to unpause the game, and apparently it does that. I don't have any clue what exactly that was doing. But, um, like, any, any clue if, if that was, like, just repeat last, or... Nice shot. If that, um... If that turns off whatever I'm looking at? I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to do some exper more experimentation, but, you know, things you discover when you're just randomly trying to make videos, right? Um, so he's trying to get himself up on, on this uh, enough that he's not going to be showing any weak points. Not that this thing has many weak points. Um, but also, he is, in fact, trying to, you know, obviously, get, obviously get good under pressure so he can shoot down into these guys. I'm sorry about this. It's been a long night. I'm very tired. But I gotta get this game out, otherwise you guys are gonna have nothing to watch today. And apparently there's a tiger that we can't see ricocheting shots off of us. That was from in front of us. That was, yeah. Okay, well. How a tiger can see us well enough to ricochet shots, but we can't see the tiger? Is a little bit weird. Oh, the tiger must be way back there. The tiger's got to be down here somewhere. 
and he's just launching shells in our general direction um, with the assumption that eventually they're going to go through. I can't see any other way in which a tiger would be close enough to fire shells at us, but far enough away, but like stay in cover kind of thing. Like that's just insane. So yeah, the tiger's got to be way down there, way down back here somewhere, and he's just launching shells, um, and just hoping to, that something goes through. They were all AP shells too. It's for, yeah, see, rat first comes to the same conclusion. And so now he's just going to pepper the bushes. Um, no, T-34B just hit us from right about there. Oh, no, he's not going to fire. He's just going to spot the thing and apparently move up. So the rest of us, our, our team is being fairly not great about this. Um, actually, you can see that this is the majority of the teams right here. There isn't very much else on the rest of the map. Everybody's pretty much ignoring them in favor of this one straight through push. Oh, we could see him for a second. Oh, no, ricochets it off the top. Um, for a second there, we did have his lower glacius. Or, I thought we did anyway. Um, and see, you can see Radford checking to make sure he's got that Capoa hidden, and he does. So he fires on the T-29. Unfortunately, bounces off the T-29 as well, because T-29 is effectively, uh, well, it's more like a T-34 is effectively a T-29 with slightly better guns. Um, the T-29 is an amazing tank, and if we can hit the cheek of that armor, we can go through. However... Hitting the cheek of that armor is actually fairly difficult. You can see them ricocheting shells off of our Kapoa just because of the angle this thing is on. <laughs> I I almost wonder if he's not going for like a defensive thing. Because um, these guys are just bouncing shells all the live long day and he's... I feel like he should be pushing up on them but at the same time Obviously, American gun depression is superior to British tank destroyers, so uh, if he does push up on them, and then he's going to be showing weak points. And yeah, he's just waiting for them to get impatient, and that guy gets impatient, and he gets shot. And now he charges because it's reloading! Yeah, it, it reloads fast enough that you're still going to have an issue, buddy. As he tracks the T-29... And if the 229 does an instant repair, he's going to be retracked. Yep, he does. And now, oh, no, T29 now instant repairs. So that he can charge forward and get shot again. Oh, where's the shot? Where's the shot? Not seeing it. Goes for the shot on the tiger and misses, unfortunately. Those little blades of grass are really, really annoying when you're all zoomed in. <laughs> This, I guess, is the downside of having the graphics all turned up. Uh, so he decides to flip sides and he gets much better shots over here. <laughs> Starts just hammering these guys. I don't, I don't know why it's only the 54 that's looking to shoot at him, but everyone else is just kind of ignoring him. I guess they've all bounced enough shells off of him and that they're tired of bouncing shells off a tortoise. He's blocked. Over 6,000 damage at this point in time as he starts to eradicate this T-34 uh, who is actually the, the first person to damage him all game and he just just takes him right out of the battle because there's no point in, in fiddling around with a tank that can actually destroy, destroy you, right? Uh, shuts, he's trying to shut down the T-54. I don't think he's going to. Now we have problems at base because of the fact that this push took so long before they, they got guts to come over this hill. And so he's faking out this T-54 T by going after the T-29. And no doubt the T-54 is going to come over the rise. Uh, T-54 has got to be trying to shoot us. Now he's definitely over the rise. Actually, he might not be. Yeah, he's sitting up on the hill. But he's not actually over the rise yet. Um, looks like the M46, nope, we're just getting shot in the back by a almost dead T-54. 
Oh well. So he tells the cat Patton to, to kill the T-54. And the Patton is completely ignoring him. Uh, Patton goes to try and reset base. So now we have to turn around and kill this T-54. Who has just realized he's messed up. Oh, we bounced that shot. Good lord. Okay, well at some point you can't deal with that, that thing anymore. I don't know where that 54 is going. I guess he's going to go and try and kill the Patton to stop him from stopping the, the, the decap, but... Oh, that's a dead Progetto. That's a dead Patton. Now... Are they going to come for us? Because I feel like they should have come They should come for us. Um, That T-30 is definitely coming for us. I saw him moving. Yep. Yep. He's poking his gun over. He's going for the shot. He, in fact, pens um, because I'm guessing he hit oh right through the uh, huh. I didn't know that I didn't think that was an actual weak spot but it doesn't really matter I guess when you got T30 pen firing APCR you're gonna go through donks the next shot six minutes left he auto aims and takes it at the 54 I um, you know most of the time I don't approve of auto aim but at some points you just need it Especially when you need to lock onto a target uh, that isn't necessarily going to be moving. And let your gun settle on on. And that was well done. Bounces one. Bounces the, the Panther 88 from behind. Kills, or shooting at the T3. He's going to hopefully kill this guy in a second or two. Yep, reloads. Takes out the T3. Still bouncing the Panther from behind. The Leopard looks like he's moving away to start capping again. He's not worried about the Panther. He just wants to take out the guy who can kill him, which is definitely this LKV. Come on. Let's kill the LKV. Kills the LKV. Moves away from the Panther. And the Leo has stopped cap. No, Leo's still capping. Okay. 284 health left. Panther's coming up behind him. He's got to kill this, this Leo, though, so he can spin around and kill the Panther. The Leo is gone. Okay, so the Leo stopping the cap means that we're going to spin around and kill the Panther. Panther never knew what hit him. No way. This thing spins around like you will not believe. <laughs> and Raffer's talking trash. Because he knows he's got this in the bag. It's a Leo. What's it going to do? The only thing it can possibly do is run all the way around the map and come up behind us. But, um, yeah... 9% certain that the Leo cannot do uh, 284 in one single shell. It may it may be able to. It, it, it In fact, it, it's possible it can. However, if Radford sees this coming, it's going to be all, all over. Um, so, Radford is just moving back to his old defensive position. Um, and he's just going to set up a defense. <sighs> Wait, does he have two marks on the end of this gun? He does. So, yeah. I mean, there's, there's someone who knows what they're doing in this tank. Come on, Leo. Where are you? Let's go. Yeah, I get the, that. That. Mm. <laughs> uh, he's decided now to push towards the base but there's not nearly enough time um, so I think in this situation uh, as soon as he got the Leo to run he should have pushed down this road to the enemy base uh, the thing with pushing down this road is if you have sync sense you wouldn't know when you got spot if you got spot you just turn and face out with the tortoise, the Leo would have bounced with anything. Um, but, uh, 
you you would have probably been okay. Um, the the problem is that he's n never gonna make it to the enemy base, and be able to uh, to cap it out. If he had done this two minutes ago, yeah, actually this would pro probably be okay. As it is, nope, it's just he's he's only here with twelve seconds left. So because of how slow the tortoise was, you really need to start this and make this a decision two minutes sooner than he did. Um, or take the faster road. Well, no, even taking the faster road, he wouldn't have got here in 30 seconds. But, um, oh well. He is not going to find the Leo. It is going to be a draw. Such an amazing game, though, right? He only got penned a few times. And one of those was a T30. Actually, a bunch of those times, rather, it was from the Panther in the back. Who was originally firing HE. I'm guessing he was trying to go for the big damage, but he wasn't penning the back of the tortoise. He was just <laughs> doing, like, 8 damage to the back of us. Which is kind of dumb. Uh, and then, eventually, he switched back to AP and started doing real damage. If he'd done uh, AP the entire time, Radford would be dead right now, but he didn't. So, <laughs> this was well done. This was a great game. Unfortunately, it's a draw, so it doesn't quite have the ending we all wanted. Um, it, it's kind of a heartbreak, but it was still a great game, and it uh, did need to be get shit. showed off. So, thank you, Radford, and let's jump over and see what the... 9,000 damage blocked. Good lord. <laughs> what the what the rest of your team do, man? Ace Tanker. Bruiser Duelist Fire Effect Showproof. Cool headed. Yeah. Steel Wall. Titan Wall is probably a bit more like. Steel is Adamantine Wall or, or Titanium Wall or. Something legendary, because good lord, 9,000 damage blocked. High caliber and top gun. Good lord. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, first off, he got more experience than anyone else in the game. And he didn't, like, he did a little bit more. He's 30% higher than the the enemy top damage, top experience earner. And he did so much more damage than more than half of his team did less than a thousand damage. Including a tier 9. Yeah. Yeah, if you're wondering why we lost, I can give you a pretty good reason this would be the reason why we lost. Uh, if if his team had done a little bit more, like, even just a tiny bit more damage, right? We just need one more shot into the Leo from somebody, and this would have been a win. Uh, such an amazing game. Thank you so much, Brad, for, for saying it in. Um, he makes money on it. Good lord. I guess that's because he was firing AP the entire time. 9,000 damage blocked. That's got to be the highest damage blocked on the channel. And uh, that was an awesome game. Thank you so much again for saying this. And I still can't get over this game. Um, joy to watch. This is the tortoise at its best. If you've ever wanted to play this tank, pick it up. It's, it's an awesome tank. It's an awesome machine. I can't wait to get to it. And so, thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This is IOE Throw.